Yo guys, Ism here, and I'm back with another Diablo video, and today we're going to go over the essentials of gold and gold farming and all this other nonsense we're supposed to be doing in Diablo for the big major grind. And normally what I do to get gold, I run out at like 5 million gold, and that's probably not a lot considering I haven't been farming the game a lot lately because I've just been doing a lot of other stuff. I've been very busy, but I normally just do a dungeon. I grind the items. I normally just pick up the rare items. But essentially, if you want gold, just pick up every item you want except for the common items and just sell it to a vendor. Now, if you do not need a legendary, of course, you can salvage at a blacksmith and get the materials back. But for for me, I've just been selling it for gold, leveling up my leveling up, getting <laughs> obtaining all that gold and just just racking it up, racking it up. And the higher quality item, of course, is going to be more gold. But yeah, the first time I actually found out that I could upgrade a uh, armor piece I was like I was pretty ecstatic but it does it is costly especially in terms of resources so salvaging is important alongside of uh, getting gold to actually be able to upgrade all your stuff especially when we get down to the enchanting the imprinting the extraction the enchanting of items is very costly so right now I'm gonna be showing you how much it's gonna be costing me to actually upgrade this sword so it cost me 110 gold 110,000 gold, excuse me, and some odd materials that I should be farming too on the side instead of just selling my items. But it's just it's just kind of like what you want to do in terms of how you want to play, that's up to you. But it's it's kind it kind of goes both ways. Like you can salvage it or you can sell it for gold. If you need gold at this moment in time, just sell it. Build up your gold. I'll probably build up like 10 mil plus and eventually just start actually enchanting my items. To, to what I want because I don't have specifically I don't have what I want and I'm still leveling in Paragon so all these items are going to kind of be obsolete later on especially when I hit 70 and go to tier 4 earlier it cost 110,000 gold now it costs 554,000 gold which is a pretty huge jump and the higher quality the codex or the aspect or not higher quality but the higher level it will actually cost more but this codex of pirate that I'm imprinting costs 90,000 and this imprint that's low level costs 33,000. This imprint is 71,000. So it's a huge gap in, uh, in price based off your level. And it's important because you're going to be spending more gold on it, more gold, more farming for gold. And the materials are out of this world, crazy, uh, expensive too. But for now, for me, gold farming is just as important. Now, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little extension on gold farming and the essential of the gold and all the other costly stuff you could be doing with the gold by spending it. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.